Okay. So tonight, I don't really have um, an agenda to talk about. I kind of wanted to see what I could help you guys with first and then um, just kind of go from there. And hey, Samantha. Um, and see what kind of questions um, you guys had. So what can I help you with things that you're struggling with or questions that you have? No, you don't have any questions. Anybody? Hmm. Alicia, are you talking? I can't hear you. No, can you hear me? I can't hear you. It's like I can almost hear you, but your volume's down, I think. Hold on. Okay. Maybe I'm covering my microphone. Yeah. Is that better? Yeah. Uh huh. Um, now you're like up my nose. So. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Um, I'm trying to think. Sorry, I was just messaging with Molly over the Shakeology thing, so my mind is kind of like still on that right now. Is there so anything I'm trying to you want to tell the girls that are on about the Shake group? Anything you need help with or anything that like you've decided that it's going to go schedule-wise or? Um, we're thinking that we should be good to add people to it by Friday. Okay. Um, <clears throat> we've got a couple different recipes for each day, for each flavor. Um, me and Molly are each going to do a post in the morning. I'm going to do like an inspirational quote in the morning and she's going to give, um, she's going to set up, I forget what she said. I have to look back at the thing, but um, I think kind of like a question forum so that people can ask questions if they're struggling with workouts or the meal plan or things like that. Um, Everything is pinned in the post, I think, as far as the meal plan goes and the workouts go. Um, and then in the evening, I'm just going to post like a funny meme, like a workout meme, like at the end of the day, like you can just check that out. Um, and we're going to add bonus workouts on days two, four, and six. Um, awesome. So Molly's just going to post an extra optional bonus workout for those days. Awesome. So, I it's group will be really great, and I think that's something that we can keep going monthly because for new coaches, that's awesome to, you know, talk to people about trying it um, so good. Does anybody else um, have anybody that's joining us for the shape group that's on the call? Um, I'm supposed to have somebody. Yay! So. You will. I have two. I have two people. One person actually ended up buying a bag, though, and so, or no, she bought the triple, um, the three combo path. Um, yeah. So he'll just be using that instead. Um, I think I had two people ask that bought bags if they can do the challenge. Yeah. Um, so they just won't have the other flavors. But um, yeah. But yeah, I think I ultimately have three or four people that are going to do the group. Good. Good. Um, okay. So that starts on Tuesday. So that's cool. That that's set and ready to go. Um, I honestly, like, I just kind of wanted to keep it open. I was hoping that some people would jump on. So thank you, ladies, for, for jumping on. So tell me um, if there's anything that, like, you've run into that you're not sure about how to respond to or things just in your business you're struggling with or anything in general um, that you have questions with. I just want to give it the time to you since you made the time out of your schedule and jumped on that I can help you with that. So does anybody have anything? Thanks. Samantha or Nikki, do you guys? I have something. Yeah, go ahead. So yeah. I just got my first month where I can get leads and I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, okay. So like I've sent emails to people just because I don't like people to have my phone number. That's just a me thing. Um, like I've looked at some of the files and stuff. So I guess any advice or ideas about how to um, follow up with the leads and I don't know, what's the percentage of people like getting back to you or connecting with you? I have more, I have better luck with texting than emails. So I'm going to tell you what I do and then I'll give you an option if you don't want to do the texting. What I do is when I see a lead and so when, if you're wondering when you get leads, you have to be Emerald and you get leads. And then when you're Emerald and hitting success club, then you get paid leads. So like they, maybe they bought a bag of Shakeology and, and you get commission off of it too. 
But basically, why you want to reach out to people is because if somebody signs up at Beachbody.com, they don't know that they have a coach. So it's up to you to reach out to them so that somebody else says, well, hey, are you working with a coach? And they say, no. And then they get them switched over. So it's your job to reach out to them to offer help to them. And then, um, but what I do is I personally text them if they have their number. If they left their number and I text them, I say, hey, how are you? Or I say, like, say it says, like, Jared, hey, Jared, how are you? Um, and I just leave it at that. And like everybody's usually like, I just got a new phone. Who is this? And then I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, this April, I'm your complimentary health coach for your purchase of Shakeology. I was just checking in on you and seeing if I can help you. I have a free meal plan to send you. Um, you know, what's your biggest struggle? Is it the fitness side or the nutrition side? So I just kind of like dive in with that. I don't, I try to keep it as minimal as possible, but I basically say, oh, sorry, I'm your complimentary health coach. Um, you know, and then yes. the conversation goes from there. And my whole goal from that text conversation is to get them to Facebook. Now, um, I send them my meal plan uh, regardless. And then, um, you know, I also send them an email. If they don't respond to the text message, they get an email as well. Even if they do respond to the text message, I'll send them an email. Like, it was so good to chat with you. Um, here's my meal plan, yada, yada. So if you are just strictly emailing people, I would say, you know, hey, I'm Samantha. I'm your complimentary health coach for your purchase of whatever. Um, and you can go into your coach online office and see what they actually ordered. If it just says free player membership or something, it usually will tell you at least they can check like what program they're doing. If they, a lot of times they'll do that too. Um, and you can just be like, I, I'm here to help you through your, you know, 21 day fix journey or your Shakeology journey. Um, I actually have a lot of recipes that I love. I saw you got strawberry. Um, I've got some really awesome ways to make that. So I've included my meal plan, and I send them the 21-day fix meal plan if they have Shakeology because there's so many Shakeology recipes in that. Um, so I've included my meal plan. You can check out those um, shake recipes. And if you ever want to try any other flavors, let me know. Um, you know, I've got a free exercise group. Is that something on Facebook you'd like me to add you to? So here's my link on Facebook. You know, send me a friend request, and I'd love to be able to keep you accountable, things like that. So um, you want to not overload them with any information. Like, I'm so glad you started Shakeology with 73 vitamins and minerals. You don't want to do any of that. Just, right. um, you know, hey, I'm here for you. I've got a free meal plan. We've got this awesome exercise group that starts every month. And, you know, in my experience, when you're, when you're around, surrounded by other people that are doing the same things, you're more likely to keep going. So I'd just love to provide that for you. So kind of like along those lines. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, one more thing. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. So um, I saw too that it says that you can see somewhere where they do or do not want to be contacted. And I have looked all over for that and I don't see that anywhere. Coach, coach online office, go yeah. to my orders, uh -huh. customer orders, and when you see them or my customers, uh, you can do a customer search and next to their name, it'll say do not contact them. Everybody gets a thank you note from me. I don't care if it says do not contact. I send them a thank you note in the mail. If it says do not contact, I'm not going to text them or email them. But everybody gets a thank you note in the mail. And in my thank you note, I have my card encouraging them to add me to Facebook, um, you know, for a free meal plan and things like that. Okay. So if it doesn't say do not contact, then that means that it's okay. Because I haven't seen any that say don't contact. Yeah, you'll get some. And it's mostly because people are just like, oh, I don't want these, like, emails from Beachbody to keep coming. And, um yeah, so if it says you don't contact, I'm not going to text them or anything, but they everybody still gets a thank you note from me. Okay. So, yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I have a, um, when you did business cards, because um, I know you said you could get some free ones off of Vista Print. Do you put your phone number on them or just like your e email and your Facebook um, address? I do. Honestly, people usually don't feel comfortable texting you or calling you, and they usually email you or find you on Facebook anyways. So I do. I don't know. Let's see if you can see this. Okay. So mine says, oh, it's backwards probably. But um, so it has a before and after. It says run pink, run happy. Ha you can't, probably can't see that. Let's see. Yeah, it's kind of hard for you to see. I, I think I have one of yours. So okay. I know I can see it a little bit. Um, it says, run, think, run, happy, helping you be the best you yet, free meal plans, workouts, and body image coaching. It says my name, um, health coach, my blog, um, my email, my 
number and my Facebook account. And you could also put your Instagram account if you wanted. So I made like a thousand okay. reviews and I'm glad I didn't do my Instagram account because it's changed after I got married. Um, but yeah, so uh, you could do Facebook, Instagram, email, and phone number. But honestly, like nobody ever texts me or calls me. <laughs> it's only like Facebook or email. Um, and you may yeah, not. Those that you have. Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. You, I mean, you may not have. I was just going to say the one. <laughs> go ahead. All right, you first. Uh, I was just going to say, you may not even, there's plenty of people that don't respond to me. Um, so that's why I say, like, I have a free gift for you or I have a free meal plan. So I tell them that I have something for free um, so that they can get it back. And I also tell them, you know, if I know that they got a program, I'm going to say, you know, take your before and after measurements. You can get $500 just by sending them in uh, your photos and your measurements to Beachbody, you know, message me for more details. And people are going to be like, I want to know how to get $500. So you can kind of work on the script that you make and you can kind of, um, you know, make it different for different products or, or what. Okay. Um, those cards that have your picture on them, you paid for those, right? Mm -hmm. Those weren't like the free. Yeah, yeah. I don't okay. think you can put pictures on any stock pictures, but they, I think they, they're pretty cheap. They're not that bad. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. But I would right, definitely cool. suggest getting business cards because there's so many times when I'm out, like I said, when I was at Starbucks and I heard three girls talking about, oh, I don't want to get the croissant, da, 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 and I just gave them all my business card and, and talked to them a little bit, and they all added me to Facebook and Instagram right there. And that is my main goal is to get somebody to add me to Facebook and Instagram right there. Um, what I'll do is if I, I'm like, you know, well, like, are you on Facebook? What's your name? And I'll usually do it, and then I'll make them find themselves, and I say, and I'll add them, and I'll just say, okay, cool. You know, we can chat later, and you know, I can see if you're interested in any of our free groups or yada yada. So the best thing is to because people, if you give them your business card, sometimes yeah, they'll follow through if they really want it, but a lot of times people forget or whatever. So the best thing you can do is when you're face to face is just be like, you know, I love Facebook. I think it's so fun to connect there. It's so easy when you're really busy. Um, are you on Facebook? Can I add you? And that works really well. Okay. Cool. Thanks. So, yeah. <laughs> Nikki, you're getting beat up over there. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Um, I feel bad. I didn't really have anything super prepared. I've been so busy and so the this week. Um, but I made that video today because I was just kind of thinking, um, you know, when people ask me, like, what are you doing to be successful and what have you done? And honestly, it's just doing the same thing repeatedly. Um, and I don't know mm -hmm. if any of you do a like page. If you do, I've heard it is so slow to build a like page, but I feel like it's worth it. Um, Kelly has made a post that she doesn't think so. But for me personally, it's worth it because I get people – all the time, you know, messaging or commenting or tagging people, and then I don't even know who they are or how they found me, and then I can add them as friends. Um, the other thing is it's easy. I mean, today I posted a post for $5, and I got some extra leads out of that that liked my post or liked my page from it. So basically, I heard some good advice this week, and people said, if you're going to do a like page, you have to be ready to post consistently on it and get very little likes and interaction, but be consistent in it overall. It's just kind of what it takes. Samantha, I know you have a like page and it's slow to grow it. Um, she, Samantha has a like page before she was even coaching. It's called the Healthy Pancreas. Um, and what were you kind of posting before coaching? What kind of stuff were you posting about? Um, family, diabetes, um, some like fitness stuff in there. It's just like a daily, yeah. What have you? And how do you feel like your interaction is on that page? It's better than it was. I've gotten um, like forty new likes oh. in the past month. So the more consistent I am, yeah, the more likes I get. And I've messaged likers, Good. and I've not heard back from one of them. Not a single one. But um, I just send in one. I'm like, hey, you know, you like my page. Blah, blah, blah. Do you add them as a friend from your regular account, too? I do that's some I of them. Because um, that's like, a, you know, 140 people. So if 
they have if they have messenger then i'll message them if they have if they don't have messenger then i friend them yeah otherwise they won't get my message yeah so um yeah i would i would kind of that's what i do if i say if i see they have a mutual friend that's another coach i don't add them but um if it's somebody that likes my page i add them and i send them a message from my personal account because i post more stuff on my personal account that I feel like they'd probably connect with. Um, and so I message them from my personal account also because the messenger on your like page, I, it's like they don't notify you. It's so weird. At least I don't get the notifications like I do for a regular yeah. uh, message. So it's just easier. So I say, hey, you know, thanks. You like my page. Um, and for you, especially if your name isn't in the Healthy Pancreas, you're going to be like, I'm Samantha from the Healthy Pancreas. Yeah. Um, this is just so much easier for me to message, and I actually get the notifications from Facebook. Um, but yeah, so basically, if you do do a like page, you just have to know that it's slow growing. But I mean, there's coaches that now they've got thousands of followers, and that's like 90% of where they get their their coaches and things from. So it's not something you have to do. Like I spent my first two years really focusing on Instagram and now I'm kind of branching out to that. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's just, you, you can only do so much. I don't want you to sit there and think, okay, now I have to do a like page. Hi. I have to post on Pinterest Hi. and I have to, you know, do this, that, and the other thing. Um, I would pick one to two different social media platforms a year and focus on that. So right now I'm kind of, last year was, I kind of just solely focused on Instagram and this year I'm putting more of my focus on Facebook um, and a little bit of my blog because I maybe posted like three times in my blog last year. So um, yeah, I mean, there's just always different ways. Some people do YouTube, um, you know, it's totally up to you, but there's always ways to get more people involved. Another thing I've said a couple times on Facebook, Think about your target market and um, figure out things that you're interested that you can join those Facebook groups and then build relationships with those. People. You're not going to join the group and then be like, hey, join my health and fitness group and spam the group. But you're going to ask questions. When people ask questions, respond, and then add those people because you're genuinely building a relationship with them. So that's another great way. If people are liking your stuff on Facebook, on Instagram, go and like some of their photos. And then I literally just like a bunch of their stuff, comment on some, and I say, oh my gosh, I love your post. I feel like I just stalked the crap out of you. Are you on Facebook? I'd love to connect with you there. I'm so, it's like honest and blunt, and they know that I'm just like really like, I like your stuff. Let's be friends. And they're like, yeah, sure. And then I give them my Facebook link, and they add me. Um, I had one girl that added me that way and we got on the phone this past week she's kind of starting her own business her own business she's got five kids she's super busy so right now she's not really interested in coaching but we kind of were just had a lot in common i talked to her and then i said you know i don't know if you're interested or not um but if you are ever interested in being a customer i just like to tell you a little bit about what i do and then i told her about the 21 day fix and she's like oh my gosh send me information that sounds great so even though like you know my 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 purpose at first was to get her to be a coach. She had so much on her plate, but just getting her as a customer wasn't also an option too. Um, and it sounds crazy, but honestly, so many of my coaches have come from Instagram leads that I then get on the phone with. And um, even before they buy anything, I'll get on the phone with them. Sarah Smith, who's an awesome coach. Um, Tanner, who's an awesome coach. Uh, Megan Frazier, who's an awesome coach. All of them. They started off as Instagram leads and I said, I was, they were asking questions. I said, do you have a minute? Can we just jump on the phone? It would be so much easier to explain. And I can remember where I was in each conversation. And I remember thinking, this person's going to make an amazing coach. Um, and it's, it's pretty cool to see that. And a lot of people, you know, when they know that you're genuine, they're not going to be like, no, I don't want to get on the phone with you. You freak from Instagram. I don't know who you are. So, you know, don't worry about that. But when you can really just build a relationship with people outside of the computer, too, I think that that is really important too. So don't be afraid to get on the phone with people. Um, because honestly, you want to be picky about who you're choosing. Like I had a couple people message me from Instagram and I looked at their account and they were like posting pictures of themselves in underwear. And I'm like, no, we're good. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> no thanks. So um, I think it's important to get to know people and be picky because it's the one time you ever get to choose who you work with. And I think because I've been selective, we have such an amazing team of people that are very like-minded. 
So just know it's your business. And if you have a bad feeling about somebody, I had one girl who was a total bitch uh, at Texas Roadhouse when we worked at. And I've got about five other coaches um, from our team that didn't really get along with her. And I was talking to her. She was a client. And I was like, ah, she, I think she'd be good at coaching. And I was pursuing it because I just wanted to build my business, you know, thinking. And then she stood me up once and I thought, mm, yeah, this is not worth putting five other people making them uncomfortable just to get one other coach. So I sent her to another coach from our hometown and I said, I don't know if you're interested or not, but you know, I know that Heather's doing big things. Go talk to her. <laughs> Basically like, I don't want you on my team. But um so so yeah, so you can be selective. Um and just go out of your way every day to if somebody is on your list and you think, gosh, they'd be a great coach or you see them posting, just go just send them a message, catch up, send them a genuine compliment and be like you're, you know, you're just so positive, and I just look forward to your post, you know. And I don't know if you'd be interested or not, but I keep thinking, gosh, she would, she is going to be an amazing coach. And I say it like in the presence, like she is going to be an amazing coach. Um, you know, have you ever thought about doing what I do? And then from there, you know, you can kind of chat, and they're like, not either no, and you can basically say, well, basically we just encourage other people while we're working on ourselves. We're just uh, everyday average people. Nothing. No certification is needed. You don't have to be in tip-top shape because the best people to encourage other people are people that know what it's like to struggle and, you know, things like that. And then you send them the business presentation, get on the phone with them, um, and get it squared away that way. But, I, I mean, honestly, the biggest thing I can tell you is just don't be afraid to talk to people about coaching, whether you're a brand-new coach or, an, uh, you know, you've been a coach for a while. When you, like, open up this, like, I don't really care if they want to, cool, if they don't, cool, it, you you can talk to so many more people and your business really starts to change and you talk to people at like sporting events for your kids and you talk to people for here and, or here and you know you just see like I know that if I offer this to them I have the ability to change their life so why the heck wouldn't I um, kind of thing so when you have that mindset it's not like oh what if they say no I tell people if it's for you cool if not no big deal because you want to make it like you know, no big deal, but I think you'd be amazing at it. Um, and that's kind of like something I really try to focus on is not being pushy, but telling them how much I love it. And even with 20 Day Tips, like when people are like, oh, I'm not really sure. I'm like, I just want to call it the tops because it's changed my life. My mom has lost over 10 pounds on it. My sister's lost 80 pounds from it. You know, my best friend, I have so many people in my life that have benefited from it so much that – I just know that it can help. And if, if you're struggling with that, I just want to invite you to feel better about yourself. And when you say it like that, nobody's going to be like, why are you trying to sell me? They're going to be like, that's so sweet of you to think of me. Um, so, yeah. So, any other questions after any of that? No. Well, I guess it's good that you well, brought it. So, I, I guess my question. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Well, I have one of my um, That's okay. Go ahead. Facebook friends. She's um she's a consistent half marathoner and she cross trains and um so she's already like athletic and everything and I had always like been like hmm, she'd be really good at coaching um because she already does have that motivation to consistently work out. Mm -hmm. But I've always been too intimidated to like message her because she does run already and stuff. And I'm like, oh, she'll be like, oh, I can't fit that in. But I guess it's like you said, you know, you never know who might want or need a change. Yeah, and I mean, that's the person that's probably going to be like, wait, what? I get paid to encourage other people? You basically do what she's already doing. Yeah, and that's how I was when I signed up. I was already doing a blog. I was posting motivational stuff already. I was sharing recipes. I was doing this. And Kelly reached out to me. She's like, you're literally doing what I wish most of my coaches were doing already. And I'm like, sign me up, you know. So don't ever think that and just compliment her and tell her how awesome her posts are and say, I don't know if this is for you or not, but honestly, you're basically doing what I do. And it's so amazing to see how you're so inspiring other people. And I was just wondering if you're, you know, interested in, and helping other people get healthy and reach their goals as well. And she's going to be like, tell me more. And when I first started, I was only a runner. I, I taught boot camp classes and stuff, but I turned my nose up at workouts. 
I never finished the entire workout until 21 day six. So like last February, I would do them here and there, but I never stuck to them. And I was fine. I mean, I was definitely more successful when I started sticking to beach body workouts because I was posting about it every day, but I was still having success with training for marathons or half marathons and doing it here and there. So it's possible. Um, even if she doesn't want to convert to it and she's still focusing on her training, just tell her, oh, my coach actually was the same way. She just did it as her cross training at home. It was so much easier than going to the gym and yada, yada. Um, so, yeah, I definitely think that people have more success when they do show I'm doing this every day from home. These are my results. But it's still totally possible to be successful with running or lifting or whatever else is, is still their passion. And there's even coaches that are successful and they're like gym rats competition, you know, and for a period of time where they're not doing beach body at all, they're strictly lifting, but they're, you know, talking about it and encouraging other people. So yes, being a product of the product helps you immensely. Um, but if you have other people that they're like, that you're like, well, they don't even do beach body. Who cares? I didn't do beach body before I started. Um, so yeah, don't let that ever say like, Oh, I don't know if they'd be interested. You never know. But if you, if you wave that, like, you could quit your job and motivate people for a living, they're going to be like, tell me more about it. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. I went to high school with a girl who she's in the process of, like, being a bodybuilder, and she's done competitions and stuff. And she's posted on, like, my photos about my transformations and, you know, said, like, if I ever wanted to talk or needed help with anything to let her know. And she was one of the ones that like, I thought would be a great coach, but like, she's already like ripped. And so like, I don't know how to, I hate to say the word sell, but I, I, I don't know how to sell her into realizing that like, she would be an amazing coach. Cause she, like, she trains at the gym. She pays a trainer to train her at the gym. Like she does all that stuff. Cause she wants to be in competitions and win prizes and things like that. And on top of it, she has a full-time job. Um, so, but she is like one of the people that I thought about that because she is so motivational already that would be great at it. Um, so yeah, I just don't know how to like start a conversation about that, I guess. So basically what I do is um, you, you kind of tell people like, it, it doesn't matter where you are. It's about helping others who have no idea where to start. You know, you may be content with where you are, but because you're so passionate about it, wouldn't you love to help a busy mom who has no idea where to start? Um, and so, mm -hmm. and you can tell her there's so many successful coaches that do competitions or do this, and they do beach body here and there on the side. They do drink their shakeology, but they're basically giving an option to people who are clueless with what to do. Um, you know, a way to make this happen. And so I just, sometimes you get people that are bodybuilders and they kind of think like, oh, beach body, that's so lame. Like, you know, sometimes you do get people that have that like stigma, like beach body. Yeah, cool. Have fun with that. Like thinking you're like at home with leg warmers or something. But um, <laughs> what I do is I just really try to tell people like, you are so inspirational and people just, you know, kind of know that you are very successful at what you do and they look up to you. So you have the opportunity to help people that, you know, are clueless, that are busy, that don't know how to eat, what to eat. Um, and it gives you an opportunity to really help other people and give back. Um, and so we talk to them about it that way and just saying, you know, lifting them up, like people really look up to you because you're in such great shape and things like that. And then it's up to them, you know, it may not be that for them. Um, and you can tell people, you know, at points in your life, if you're doing this like fitness competition where you can't have shakeology because it doesn't fit into your meal plan, that's fine. You know, and then when you're not on that, you can, you know, focus on that more too. So I've, I've talked to a couple people about it and they kind of turn their nose up. And then I talk to other people where they're like, yes, that's awesome. You know, I have Tanner is a CrossFit instructor. And then I've had other CrossFitters like, no, be body blame. So it's really individual. So you don't want to put them all into one stereotype, you know, of that. So yeah, genuinely okay. like, now to you and she's like, let me know, let's chat. She enjoys that part of mentoring other people. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will do that. But 
Yeah. So, what are your guys? Uh, what are your guys's um, goals for this month? Um, give me um, success club goals from each of you. Uh, I'll start with you, Alicia, because you're unmuted. Okay. Um, well, I know I'm gonna I'm gonna hit ten. Like I'm gonna hit ten. It's for sure. Yeah. And you're uh, right now. What's that? You at six right now? Um, I should actually be at eight now because my manager bought a challenge pack last night. Okay. So as soon as that goes through the system, um, that should bring me up to eight. And then I have another coworker that's buying just the 21 day fix. She didn't, she only tried my shake once um, mm -hmm. and it wasn't made very well. It had been sitting out for a while and she thought it was too chalky. So she doesn't, she doesn't like the shake. Okay. Um, and she doesn't want to try it again because I already tried. Um, but she's going to buy the, just the 21 day fix for me. So that gets me a point, right? No. <laughs> oh, only the 21 technology day. on home direct and is one. And then, um, uh, challenge backs are two. You still get commission. Okay. You only get if to shake allergy is involved is the only time. Gotcha. And then, um, that's okay though. Cause my cousin is asking her fiance to buy her, um, the 21 day fix uh, challenge pack for her birthday and her birthday's in July, but I think they're going to buy it within the next week or two. I'm hoping. Um, exactly. yeah. People and I don't ever put all your eggs in one basket because you will love how many surprises you get that people do not follow through. So just keep talking. Yeah. About because I'm always like, okay, oh, yeah. more people are going to order. I don't have eight successful points by May 5th. And no, <laughs> never happens. I I should be at eight and I know that I can at least get either two more people to buy a shake allergy bag or one other person to buy a challenge bag. So okay. cool. And I saw that you um, got notebooks today. So make sure you're keeping track of your um, successful points so you can always, you know, know exactly and things like that. So um, Samantha, what's your success level? What do you ask? Five is my goal. I would love higher than that, but I've had an insane month with work, which has sucked royally, and it's gotten in the way of me devoting as much time as I plan. So I really just want to hit five because then I would earn my free tickets to Summit next year, which would be a big deal. Yay! Is this your third? Yay! Yay that's exciting. Yeah, and Summit's so going to be awesome. There's already 21 of us going this year. I'm just like. Dude, we're gonna have like 50 people next year. It's gonna be awesome. That's awesome. I know. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, good for you. And did you just sign up a coach? Did I see that? You signed a coach this week, this month? Samantha? Oh, sorry. Yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> did I see you sign a coach this month too? No, I have one that I've been going back and forth with. And then I have a girl on Instagram um, who found me and I mean, her page is she's coaching already. And so she joined the free five day group. And then I've messaged her a couple of times um, during the group. And then since then, and I haven't heard back from her, but we're still friends. She hasn't defriended me. She's just not responding, but she would be awesome. What do you mean she's coaching with these body? No, like she, um, she would be good at coaching and she oh. already has a page that looks just like she's coaching. She's just not an actual coach. Like she's posting nutrition and workout stuff. I mean, she's doing it. And I talked with her a little bit before she joined the group. Um, I just haven't heard from her since then. So. Okay. What I would do is um, look up for um, coach Caleb. He's got some good videos about basically anytime somebody gives me an objection, I look for a coach Caleb video that kind of is like, Hey, this is why what you said isn't true. Um, kind of thing. So if, if you find something on his page that like kind of looks like motivating, like why should I become a coach or, you know, things like that, um, check those out and see if that's something that you could send to her because that usually helps a lot too. It's just like, I came across this, you know, and you've been on my mind. I feel like you'd be an amazing coach. And then I saw this video and I thought of you even more. So I just, I just wanted to send it to you if you can check it out. It's like three minutes long, you know, something like that. Um, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about you, Nikki? So it's Success Club 5, but in all reality, this month, I would really like to just keep concentrating on getting back on track and posting consistently. I kind of fell off the wagon there for a little bit. My other business is super busy right now, um, so I'm kind of just trying to get back on track this month. Okay. What's your other business? Um, I have an online boutique. Ooh, fun. Um, 
Yeah, so that's probably fun. How many kids do you have? Five. That's what I thought. Okay. Did you get your haircut recently? Yeah. Okay, because I was like, is that her? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I thought that was you, but I didn't want to like say it. So, um, okay. Yeah. So you're, you say, so, um, yeah, five is a good goal. But, um, you know, just try, have you been talking to anybody about the sample pack? Try to get anybody at least try that, get on board for that. Um, I've posted about it twice, but I really haven't had any hits. But that's kind of my own fault because I was getting a lot of hits before on everything, talking to a lot of people. But I stopped posting for like two and a half, three weeks. So yeah. I, mean, I kind of got to kick myself in the ass for that. But that's why I need to get consistent again. What I would do is if you could keep track of people and if you know anybody that gave you the money in the past, I know that you had some issues um, with money in the past. Okay, you kind of get back on track after. So, um, does anybody else have any questions or anything? We've got about a minute and a half. <laughs> I just realized we don't have much time left. But anything else or anything that I can start doing in the future to help you or anything at all? Not that I can think of. Okay. All right. Well, anytime, anytime you think of anything that would be helpful, like, gosh, I wish we had this or I wish we had this. Um, feel free to let me know because I'm always trying to do more stuff for training and I'm kind of just like, oh, this might be nice. Oh, this might be nice. So um, I'm always happy to do that. So let me know if there's anything in particular you can you need help with. Uh, reach out to people for those sample packs. Get them added to our group. Um, so Alicia said we should be able to add people Friday. Um, she'll keep us posted. So, but yeah, um, keep talking to people every day. and. Um, our busy season is coming up, so that's exciting because it's summer, people want to look good. So keep talking to people now, and now is the time to build relationships for summer. So keep talking to people and let me know if I can do anything for you, and then we'll go back to our Thursday at 8 p.m. call or 7 p.m. next week. So thanks for taking time out of your schedule, guys. Have a great night. Thanks. Bye, April. Bye.